So, just another quick video about a couple of new features that have been added to the uh, latest version of Visual Studio 2021, which is build 6418 right now. That's actually an early access release, but when you watch this video, it may have been gone into public. So, the two new features I want to talk about are the quick filters and the color filters, or also known as the color rules. So, what are those and how do you get to them? Well, they're actually just tools to make you be able to to look at uh, to to filter this file list a little bit better. So as you can already see, I have a, a couple of green tracks here. Uh, we'll get back to why in a second. So where are these filters? Um, well, they're up here. So you can already see I have a couple of buttons here. We'll get back to those. But what you do is you click this little thing, quick filter, and then you choose the edit, and you get this little pop -up, up with the instant filters. So the quick filters are up here. Those are the ones that gets turned into buttons, and the color rules or color filters are down here, and those automatically get triggered, so they color the tracks. So what have I set up already? Well, I've uh, created a quick, uh, a, a quick filter called Too Fast, with the question mark, with the BPM greater than 130. So the idea being that I can quickly look at the one that's above 130, and uh, see if they are too fast. What do I mean by that? Well, sometimes they detected it at twice the speed, so I probably want to go through those, through those really quick and see if they have been detected at the correct speed or if I need to half the BPM. And the other one is low quality, so basically I want to find all the one that's not 320 kilobit um, and maybe want to find a new version of those. So let's look at those first. So those are the two buttons up here, so I can click too fast and I can see, well, I have one here that's 131 and one here that's 145. Both are higher than 130, so that's why they get selected when I click the too fast filter. And if I load one of them up here and test it, you can clearly hear that I should probably half the speed, because it's probably only um, 65 and a half, so it's been detected too fast. So that's what I use this one for. And the other one, low quality, that's this one over here. So, well, uh, that's only a 209 bit rate, uh, so maybe I want to get a new version of that. And actually, as you can see, if I click too fast here, uh, and I click low quality, then I get a combination. So this one both has the low quality and might be too fast because it's been detected at 145 BPM. Yeah, so those were the, the two, those were the two quick filters. So what about the color filters? Well, I set up two, one, two down here, and one, uh, the one that's green is if here, is greater than or equal to 2020. So the idea here being, these are my pretty recent tracks. So I get a green color on my pretty recent tracks. The other one that I've set up is already played equals one. So if that, uh, if that happens and it turns purple or magenta here. So that's another way of uh, seeing tracks easier that has already been played uh, in this virtual DJ session. So you can see if I go back here, and I disable the filters up here and get it all back. Then you can see, because I've enabled the year column, you can see that these green ones here, those have a year that's either 2021 or 2020, and all the rest of them, they don't get, get colored green. And for the, uh, for the story already played, let me just go into the history delay setting. See, that's been, uh, the default is 45, see if we click here, but I've set it down to 10, for faster testing. So 10 seconds in, and this should get marked as played. And when that happens, uh, it of course gets a little icon that we know, but it should also get uh, the purple or magenta color. So let me just play the same track as before. It's already loaded. So when we get 10 seconds into the track, it should switch color. Like that. So you saw it switched color here, and of course it got marked red. Um, so uh, that's an, an easy, quick way to uh, to see which tracks you've already played. A little bit easier to spot than the little uh, red line over here. And of course you can uh, mark it and mark it uh, as unplayed, and then it'll, as always, and it'll turn back just like always when uh, you are marking your play already played tracks. So this was just a little uh, a little intro to how you can use the uh, 
the new fil the new filters. So the uh, the quick filter and a color filter, also known as the color rules, to make it easier uh, easier to figure out what's going on in your file list.